One year ago, the Whiteful Lady Wolfpack defeated the Trash Lady Titans 7-3 in the third round of the 1A state playoffs. The two teams met in the third round once again on Wednesday at Heidi Trask High School. Trask entered the contest seeking vengeance for last year's loss, but Whiteful had other plans. Home runs from freshman Ivy Hayes and Courtney Granger paced the Lady Wolfpack to a 7-2 victory in the rematch, advancing them to the fourth round of the state playoffs. Both teams showed great energy in the early innings of the game, which was postponed on Tuesday due to torrential rain approximately 15 minutes before the scheduled first pitch. Whiteville came out swinging on Wednesday, but it was Trask who opened the scoring in the bottom of the first. Starting pitcher A.J. Johnson stroked a long single to left field that scored leadoff hitter Kyra Holmes. The Lady Titans made it 2 to nothing in the bottom of the second, scoring a run courtesy of a Whiteville error. However, Trask made an error of its own to open the top of the third, which began to shift momentum in Whiteville's favor. Three batters later, Eden Brown laced a double to left field to cut Trask's lead to 2-1. to one. Hayes then did her damage at the plate, stroking her third home run in the past two games to left center field, giving Whiteville a lead it would never surrender. Whiteville went up 6-2 to two in the following inning when Granger stroked a home run of her own to straightaway center field. Trask managed just two hits in the final five innings against Whiteville starter Mallory Leviner, who allowed just one earned run in seven innings pitched. Leviner helped her own calls in the top of the fifth, swatting an RBI double to left center field that scored Hayes to push Whiteville's lead to 7-2. to two. Trask went down quietly in the final three innings, sealing Whiteville's victory. Coach Olivia Scott said that she was proud of her team for executing its game plan and of the achievements of her freshmen. This pitcher keeps the ball low in the zone, and um, I knew that if we were to approach her in the front of the box and be aggressive with her first few pitches and attack her, um, that would be a little better off with solid hits and not taking her too deep into the count. Ivy and Courtney being freshmen, there's a lot of pressure that comes along with that, but uh, I just told them to go out there and, and play softball, have fun, and stay relaxed, and that's what they've done is they've played their game. Hayes has caught fire in the playoffs, which has given her added confidence at the plate. I haven't been hitting that well this season. I started off with a bang and then kind of fell off, and now I'm back on it and I'm ready to go. Whiteville picked up the victory without cleanup hitter and starting first baseman Sage McClelland, who is unavailable for the remainder of the playoffs due to a fracture in her left foot. McClelland's absence is a big loss for the Lady Wolfpack, but Scott emphasized that her team is just that, a team. No one person makes or break this team. We are a family, and we do work together, and we are a team. So um, I hope that they continue to fill that spot in that void where Sage is missing, and I think we'll be okay as long as we just keep hitting the ball. Whiteville will travel to Pinetown, North Carolina, to play top-seeded and undefeated Northside at 7 p.m. on Friday.